we're in Glenesk, which along with Glenclover, just to the south of us, was where Barrow developed his metamorphic zones. And so we're going to walk along a transect and see if we can find each of the indicator minerals for each of the zones. So we're quite close to the Highland Boundary Fault here, and we're in the lowest grade. So this is a rock containing chlorite, which is the lowest grade. It's a mica, and it's a green mica, and you can see this is quite green. So this is a, what we'd call a chlorite phyllite. So we're now in the biotite grade. The rocks here are actually slightly rich in sand, so it's only semi-polytic, but in regions where you can see where there is more um, pelite material, it's quite well cleaved and it's got a more generally grey or browny grey colour compared to the greens of the chlorites. And biotite is the next uh, index mineral and it's another uh, mica mineral but it's darker and brown in colour. So we're just a little bit further into Glenesk now and we're in the garnet zone and remember it's the very first appearance of the next high pressure mineral that defines that zone. So at the start of the garnet zone they should be very small and indeed they're tiny. They're these little nobbles that actually because it's hard you can feel it weathering proud but they're quite hard to see without a hand lens. We're in the starolite zone here and starolite form these pale brown sub-rectangular sometimes with a cruciform twin or 120 degree twin crystals. They're not very well developed here. They're these very small brown crystals that you see here and here. We're in the kyanite zone and kyanite forms these bladed crystals which weather proud. They're all kyanite so it's typically blue but because it's including all of the other minerals in the rock then the body colour is masked. So you need to be quite lucky to find nice blue idiomorphic crystals. We're in the selimanite zone now and selimanite forms these really quite small white masses around often the garnets. So that completes Barrow's uh, metamorphic zones. And so we've gone from the chlorite zone, which formed at maybe 100 degrees C and perhaps a kilometre or two depth, to the selimanite zone, which is the deepest one, which we think formed around 600 degrees C, 650 degrees C, at around 18 to 20 kilometres depth. So we've gone through a 20 kilometres depth transect of typical uh, continental crust.